Hello. Good afternoon. I'm doing a video real quick um, to start off this month. I wanted to do a, a video and just kind of highlight everything I'll be using. Um, it is cycle day one. If you saw my um, video from yesterday, you'll see that I um, I did a pregnancy test and I did get a negative. So I knew that it was coming and today was cycle day one, which is cool. I didn't even really try um, last month. And like I said, I'm not even sure if I actually ovulated because I never did get a positive OPK. So... I'm actually going to jump back on the wagon this month. Last month was kind of like ho-hum. The only thing I did different was um, the pre-seed on like two days out of the month. And like I said, I don't even know if I uh, ovulated. Um, I just picked the two days when I usually get a positive OPK and use those two cycle days. So anyway, I'll start from the top. Um, so I've got this planner and it's a, a fitness planner. But I'm going to use it, double it as a um, uh, like a wellness and TTC planner. So as you see, like each page has like each week, right? They go along the top and it has um, weekly goals. So like I can put um, put my weekly goals there, and then there's a space, and then at the bottom here there's like different habits and healthy habit tracker so you can keep track of uh, weekly anything that you're trying to change or do differently whether it's something for fitness nutrition or like TTC like track um, basal temperature or something like that and then up here for each day it has a place where I can either plan or um, journal afterwards my meals um, how many waters drinks of water um, any health notes and then hours of sleep and then, um, so here I have some of my monthly goals. Um, I'm doing a no coffee cycle. So I had one this morning. That'll be my last one. I'm going to swap it out for these two teas. So, like, this tea has some really good stuff in it. Let me see if I can get this to... Ah, uh, here we go. So it's got the raspberry leaf, strawberry leaf, stinging nettle, spearmint, which I hear actually helps with hirsutism, which is the um, female growing male patterned um, facial hair. Uh, bitter fennel, rose hip, alfalfa, and lemon verbena leaf. So I've actually taken these before and I did notice a change in my cycle when I took these two together as well as like the dandelion root like roasted dandelion roasted dandelion root tea um and this one is healthy cycle and it's got a lot of the same stuff the raspberry licorice strawberry and stinging nettle leaves the angelica root is in this one the stickle and crab barks in this one um spearmint rose hip lemon verbena with indian lemongrass ginger rhizome and chamomile are in this one so I'll take the healthy cycle one. Like this cycle, I'm really just trying to use up all these half of things that I have laying around. Like I've bought stuff over the months or whatever. And I've got like some of this and some of that left. So I'm making myself finish it. So like over here, actually in this container, I have this pre-mama. Like I took, I got about half a container of that too. So I've got 10 of these. I'm going to take these um, starting today. They're um, my Incetol uh, supplements, which is a vitamin that helps with um, ovulation. And then this roasted dandelion root tea, I'm going to take that also during um, the peppermint. I heard it kind of helps as well as experiment with the hair growth. And I just got a couple of these. I'll throw these in um, during my cycle. Um, and then this is the other teas. I have them all in here because I don't have exactly a whole box of either. So I've got the healthy cycle, which I'll take during my cycle, and then afterwards I'll take the rest of the pregnancy piece. So I've got about 20 in here, another eight or so in here. So I have enough to get through the month. So I'm gonna use those um, 
during the first 10 days of my cycle because they help with ovulation and hopefully use all of that up. So then um, the pre-mama and then the castor oil packs, that's what I've got back here. Um, there's my castor oil pack kit. I'll do another video where I take that out and actually show you how it works or whatever. But it's good for encouraging blood flow and cleansing of um, your um, pelvic area and also your, like your liver and your digestive system. So it's really good for that. That's my facial cleanser and toner. That's my facial stuff. And then, um, also, I'm going to get eight cups daily of water in there. I don't know if I need that to actually be a goal since I have it on the weekly on every day. So I might use that box for something else. And then defining gel, stretch mark, and repair daily. That's like some skin and beauty regimen stuff. So I'll talk about that lately. I want to walk a mile um, five days a week, at least five days a week. Um, I actually have... Take a, take a look out of my window. If you look across the street, I have that big old area over there, that big field that you see. I can walk all around that. And I think like two of those is probably a mile. So I'm gonna do that. And then, what else? My daily vitamins and my other supplements. So I plan on using a half a scoop of my shake mix in the morning. And it is um, a really good shake mix. It helps um, make you make you feel full, right? There's some stuff about it, right? It's got amino acids, which helps build up lean muscle mass. It's um, plant-based protein, free of antibiotics and growth hormones. No artificial stuff. It's vegan, so. Yeah, I'm really happy about that. But as you can see, it's almost it's almost gone. Like, there's only like that much left down there. So I'm going to do like half a scoop until it's gone. And then um, what else? A scoop of my greens powder. And it's got all that stuff in there. A lot of that stuff is good for um, fertility right the um cholera the spirulina the algae the green leaf dandelion all that stuff rosemary all that stuff's good for fertility so i'll take a scoop of that and put it like in my shake mix because it's like orange flavored so it tastes really good as a smoothie um this is some flaxseed and, and evening primrose oil right organic and rosemary extract so it's like a woman blend um what else my hair skin and nails to they're like my beauty pills i'll be taking those so they've got some good stuff in them too all right it's got the biotin it's got zinc it's got quite a bit of vitamin vitamin c vitamin e grape seed right olive fruit a lot of that stuff is good for um Reception. and then this is it's vital it's my um i swear that the vitals right there it's got all this good stuff so it's got all your vitamins you need plenty of those biotin right it's got folate folic acid and a whole food complex 100 percent of your daily value and then you can just kind of see there all the good stuff that's in there so it's got a lot of different ways antioxidants cardio support immune support metabolic support digestive support mind and body and energy blend and nutribound nutribound food whole food complex so it's whole food source right gluten free dietary supplements so those are my multivitamins slash um, prenatals but I'll use them like prenatals. And then this is just my fat fighters that I'll take with my meals to try to cut down on. Um, it helps with your blood sugar. And it's got Garcinia Cambogia, green tea leaf, right? Bitter melon, um, 
you know, all kinds of good stuff in there. So, those are the supplements that I'm going to be using. So, overall, um, the pre seed, I don't know if I said that, pre seed during um, ovulation days, and then I have to get some OPKs. So, overall, that's basically what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be try keeping track of everything in my planner. Take it off your happy life. Right, guys? Like, I was considering just, like, kind of giving up, but I'm going to give it a couple more shots. You know, you're only young once. And once your fertility is gone, for real, it's gone, for real. So, thank you for watching my video. Let me know if you have any questions. If you have any ideas or tips, let me know on those, too. Thanks for watching, love.